Well, it's hard not to get excited about this one, Ian, because we're going someplace for the very first time, and that hasn't happened very often. And this is the final of the classical planets, uh, thinking of what Pluto was a planet when the spacecraft left. But we've sent robots to every planet in the solar system except Pluto. Finally, we're here. And i got to tell you, today at Mission Control in the press center, it was just excitement because they're counting down the hours. After a long, long wait, we're finally there. And uh, they're just so excited knowing that everything is going to change. Everything we know about Pluto is going to change tomorrow. It's a very exciting time. And so we've, we've gotten a few indications of some new things about Pluto. I mentioned those. Or is there anything there that already uh, surprises you? Or, or I guess what are you looking for tomorrow night? Well, what's interesting is, is that Pluto is turning into a very fascinating world. Uh, it's got uh, light and dark markings on it. It's got ice on its surface. It's got three different kinds of ice. It's got water ice like we do, methane ice, nitrogen ice, which are very different than the kinds of things we have here. It has an atmosphere. It might have clouds in it. And then it's got this giant moon going around it that's half as big as it is. And it's different. Uh, it looks different than Pluto. Plus, there are four other little tiny moons. So it's really a whole little solar system unto itself. Very, very interesting, very complex. But what we're seeing today is just a tease because we're still hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from it. The spacecraft is going so fast, and it's going to come really, really close. We're going to see stuff down to meters across in full color, high resolution. So all will be revealed. Uh, it's just exciting to know what's coming.